What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. The code for this lock has four digits, all from zero through nine, and no digit is used twice. So all of these spaces are gonna be unique digits, okay? And then we have the following five clues. In this one, it says two numbers are correct, but in the wrong position here. Three numbers are correct, but in the wrong position. Here, nothing is correct. Here, two numbers are correct and one number is in the correct position. And last but not least, two numbers are correct and both are in the correct position. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So first things first, I'm gonna write down zero through nine, all of the digits that are possible. Now that we have these laid out, I'm going to actually start with the third clue, which says nothing is correct. So what that means is 6901, not only are they not in the correct positions, but they're not part of the code. So six, nine, zero, and one can all be taken out. Now, since these are all bad numbers, I can also go through here and look in all these other ones, which one has six, nine, zero, one, and let's cross them out. So we got one, we've also got a six here, and that's that. Okay, next, let's go to this clue. It says three numbers are correct, but in the wrong position. Well, I already know that six is incorrect, which means that four, five, and seven must be the three correct numbers. However, it says that four, five, and seven, well, they're correct, but they're all in the wrong position. So that means we know that four is not in the first position, but is there. Five is not in the second position, but is there. And seven is not in the fourth position, but is there. So let's denote that here. So I'm saying four can either be in second, third, or fourth. Five can either be in the first, third, or fourth position. And seven can be in the first, second, or third position. Now, I know that these have to be in the code. So I'm also gonna just cross these off. Four, five, and seven are now spoken for. Now what I'm gonna do is since I know that four, five, and seven are in the mix, I'm gonna circle them in all of these to denote that these are good numbers. Okay, and let's just get rid of this one since it's out of the mix already. Now we can go back to the top clue and we've got a lot of really valuable information now because it says two numbers are correct but in the wrong position. So again, four and five, we already know these are correct numbers based on clue number two. So four and five are correct but they are in the wrong positions. So that means four cannot be in slot three and five cannot be in slot four. So that helps us a little bit. We also see that two numbers are correct, well then two and three must be incorrect. So these are incorrect numbers. So we can now cancel out two and three. That's pretty helpful because that means that the only possible number left uh, for the fourth number has to be eight. We don't know where eight goes, but we know eight has to be in the mix. So now we come down to this clue. It says two numbers are correct and one number is in the correct position. Well, two numbers are correct because we have four and five. That means three is wrong and we've already eliminated three. So that also makes sense. And now it says, one number is in the correct position. Is it five? No, it cannot be five because we already know that five is not going in slot number four. So it has to be four. Four has to be one that's in the correct position. And now we've locked in our first option, which is four in slot two. Now moving down to clue number four, it says two numbers are correct and both are in the correct position. Well, we already know the two numbers that are correct because we've circled them, seven and five. We already know that two and three are out anyway, so let's cross them out. And since they're both in the correct positions, that means we've got seven here and five here. Now we just need this fourth number and the only possible fourth number as we mentioned previously is eight, which means we've got eight for the win, boom, done. I just wanna give a shout out to Mind Your Decisions, which showed this puzzle with slightly different numbers, but it's an awesome puzzle. I wanted to show it myself to my audience and give my explanation on how I would tackle this problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this math puzzle and if you did, please click that like button. If you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.